All right, what's going on, my friends? Sim Chow Fitness here. We're going to rock this. We're going to roll with it. I want to give you my opinion on Rich Piana versus Profit Muscle. For all two of you that don't know, uh, Profit Muscle goes ahead and lays down 20 Gs, $20,000 to fight Rich Piana in the cage in exchange for slap boxing Jason Genova, which, just by the way, uh, Jason Genova goes ahead and somehow returns the favor by Order 66 in Profit Muscle, which I completely dislike. That's not a cool move, Jason. Profit Muscle is just trying to help you. I don't know why you're giving him heat. You're pretending like Rich Piana, your best buddy, man. You don't even know what you don't even know what you're saying. Seriously, just take that video down. Seriously, big mistake. Big, big mistake. Because seriously, like I said, Profit Muscle is just trying to help you out. And how do you how do you go ahead and thank him? You thank him by Order 66 in him like. Like you think like Rich Piana is your best friend or something? Don't be so naive. Rich Piana doesn't care, give a damn about you. Rich Piana doesn't give a damn about you. So stop siding with Rich Piana because he, he, he's, he's nothing but a sleazy dick. Anyway, back to the video at hand. He goes ahead and he challenges Rich Piana. Rich Piana answers the call. And not only does he answer the call, he uh, puts forth later on a, he a featherweight fighter and says, I'll put 20 Gs on this featherweight fighter. You can't even beat this guy, right? So I'm thinking, okay, uh, must be that Rich Piana has put two videos out now, so it must be he really hurt his feelings, and he did hurt his feelings. Bottom line is, whether you like it or not, that dubbed up, that cut, that edited video that Profit Muscle put out was a very – very convincing video that Rich Piana is a bad guy. It really, really can impact his name. You don't understand. Rich Piana 5% is a business. And Profit Muscle goes ahead and impedes on his business. This is a lot bigger than some YouTube uh, fiasco, YouTube sort of beef, if you will. This goes far, far than this. This is delving into people's pockets. We're talking money on the line because the bottom line is that video will always be out there and it put, it portrays Rich Piana in a very negative way. Once again, you got testimonies from the likes of Boston Lloyd, testimonies from the likes of um, uh, Big uh, Big Boy. You got testimonies from the likes of Pitbull. I don't know the real names, but reputable dudes, dudes who lift real weight, go, dudes who go heavy, dudes who I respect, right? All these dudes, I think a lot of guys respect him. And to have the testimony on there like that is really, really bad for marketing for Rich Piana 5%er. By the way, I'm a business owner myself. I own my own towing and hauling company. So therefore, it just goes to show I know what it's like to get a bad name on the internet. Don't underestimate the power of the internet. Don't underestimate the power of YouTube. One bad video like that, especially if it's an hour long coming from a reputable fighter, somebody who, who has had the background um, in the fighting, uh, basically he can't be making it all up. He, you see the footage of him fighting. He shows it just about every video. So he does have – Profit Muscle does have some credentials. That being said – Right, it doesn't look good for Rich Piana to have somebody with those credentials go ahead and all of a sudden talk poorly about him, put out an hour video about him. It doesn't make sense for his business. It's bad for business. It's bad for money. It's bad for marketing. It's bad for propaganda. It's bad for PR, public relations. It's just bad for all these things. So what I'm trying to say, man, is Rich Piana is just trying to save his own skin. That's why he's so pissed. That's the only reason why he's so pissed. He needs to – if he could, he would lay down $100,000 to get this guy uh, knocked out. That's all he cares about. And if my bet is right, I would bet he put out another video challenging him further because Rich Piana can't stand the fact that there's some guy about him talking crap about his name, about his uh, – business and about this, that, and the other. You take a look at the video. There is no way to come out of that video thinking, oh, Rich Piana is a good guy. Oh, Rich Piana is all right. Man, anytime, anybody looking at that video who watches the whole video from beginning to end will automatically come out of there thinking Rich Piana is a sleazy jerk. It's just the bottom line, man. He's got to do something about that. So my bet, what I think is going to happen, seriously what's going to happen is he's going to go ahead. I think Profit Muscle is just biding his time. He's going to answer the call. Profit Muscle is a real dude. I think that he's going to answer the call. I think this fight's going to go down. I really, really do. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because Profit Muscle, this is the break he's been waiting for. You know what I mean? 
Um, if if he goes ahead, he he can go down in history as the dude who knocked out Rich Piana. I mean, that's a pretty sweet title to wear. And don't forget, don't think for a second that Rich Piana is going to come out on top of this fight. Anybody who knows anything about fighting, you got to know. If you don't know, knows that a fighter is always going to beat out a bodybuilder or somebody of a different discipline because that's what fighters do. They fight. That's what bodybuilders do. They flex their arms. They flex their muscles. So. If you don't know, the, if you're going up against a guy who knows the rear, and you don't know the rear naked choke, you don't know the leg locks, the triangle choke, the the arm bar, etc., 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 you're not going to be able to match wits with one of these guys. Damn these automatic lights! You're not going to be able to match wits. You're always going to lose against a dude who can go ahead and bang with those kind of. Uh, uh, always going to lose with a guy who can go ahead and knows those kind of techniques, and there's nothing you can do about that. So as far as Rich Pana is probably going to get his butt kicked, I say uh, Rich Pana loses to Profit Muscle via submission, and that's my fight prediction. I do think the fight's going to go down. I don't know if it's – honestly, I'm going to say let, – let me rephrase that. I don't think the fight's going to go down. I, what I think is going to happen is, is Profit Muscle is going to answer the call, and after he answers the call, the fight's just never going to happen. I do not believe the fight's going to go down. I just believe he's going to answer the call. In other words, Profit Muscle is going to go on video answering the call saying, okay, I will fight you, but at last, it will never, ever happen. So that's just my two cents on it. That's what I think. Uh, there's pretty much nothing more to say about it. I said I'd cover it, uh, and I pretty much think I said all I want to say. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. The whole thing is rigged. Seriously, the whole thing is rigged in Rich Piana's favor. Rich Piana comes on camera with some dude who's about 400 pounds in MMA, who's proven his worth, according to Rich Piana's uh, testimony, right, who's a MMA fighter himself who's going to be in the cage of these two guys. Do you really think for one second when the fight goes down, let's say Rich Piana takes a couple of shots, do you really think that big guy is there by accident? No, man, that big guy is going to rip profit muscle off Rich Piana the second he starts winning. And if the opposite happens, let's say if Rich Piana starts winning, right, and beating up profit muscle, he's going to let the fight go on. to the. He's going to let uh, uh, Rich Piana do some serious damage to profit muscle before he jumps in the fight. So I think the fight is completely rigged in the first part. If you want my opinion, if you honestly want my opinion, I would just tell Profit Muscle to get on camera and said I, I gave you 72 hours. Because he did. He said 72 hours, and you did not answer the call until after 72 hours. Therefore, the whole, the whole deal is broken. If you want to make another deal with the fight, I'm down with another deal. But as far as the 72-hour deal, that's done with. I gave you 72 hours to respond, and Rich Piana did not respond in 72 hours. Therefore, uh, the deal is no longer valid. So that's what I would say if I was Profit Muscle. Take that money. Take that $20,000, stick it back in your pocket, and just walk away. Because you don't got to prove nothing because you said 72 hours, 72 hours, 72 hours. 72 hours is not 120 hours. So I don't know what you're talking about. If Rich Piana goes ahead and answers the call, that's old already. He said 72 hours, 72 hours, means 72 hours. Man, cut this video. It's done, man.